Hi there, so this is the uh, 2018 ICT practical paper and uh, in the next page we have the uh, scenario given instruction to candidates and these are five different activities that uh, will have to be done and over here a scenario is given what this paper is about. Okay, so uh, once you have read the scenario, let's move on to the uh, first activity, suggested time is 25 minutes. So. The first activity it goes on, Sam, uh, Sammy wants a logo for the 2018 badminton competition. Uh, first thing says open a new document using word processing software, enter this, the, these details in the footer and save your document as task AG1. So for me the simpler way is I have my folder over here on the desktop uh, 2018, I have saved all my files inside it. So I'm just going to right click over here and say I want a new word document. I'm supposed to be saving this task AG1 as the paper said. Uh, that's over here and then immediately I'm going to go in and insert the footer, insert footer, edit footer and over here I'm going to be typing task AG1, my name, candidate number, center number, so that's done. And then uh, question paper goes on to say create a logo for the 2018 badminton competition. It must be fit for purpose and include the text CBL 2018 and one suitable image from the images folder. So uh, I'll be using uh, Photoshop for this particular activity. So I'll be uh, going into the images folder, taking any one picture for the logo. So now uh, we first need to understand that when it comes to creating a logo, we are not allowed to use photographs. Uh, okay, because a logo cannot be created using a photograph. So from that, once we eliminate the photographs, we are left with duck, player, racket, and swimmer. So if you come back quickly into the scenario, you will see that this is all about badminton. So either we can use this or we can use the racket image. All the others are not fit for purpose, nor relevant to the scenario. So uh, I'm going to be going for the image racket. So I can either right click and say open with uh, Photoshop. If it doesn't appear for you, what you can do is you can come to start and uh, type Photoshop over here and uh, once Photoshop appears you can open the image from Photoshop itself. Let's give it a couple of seconds for it to load. <clears throat> you can also do this using paint but for this time I'm just going to uh, do it using Photoshop. In the previous papers I have used paint. A couple of papers I'll be using paint, a few papers I'll be using Photoshop. So from here you can come and say file and uh, file open or else your next method can be you can do a drag and drop you have the picture record over here drag it come into photoshop i haven't left the mouse yet and i'm going to come over here and let go of the button okay so now the image gets dropped over here i'm not going to be spending too much of time on the image i'm just going to immediately get the letters cbl-2018 as it says over here the text cbl-2018 so uh, the text tool is over here just take the text tool over here and draw a straight line somewhere here and I'm going to immediately go with CBL-2018. So it looks quite fine, looks visible. Uh, one thing is generally logos do not have a background color. Now this isn't something that they normally uh, check for but it's always better if you can get rid of the background color. So I have the eraser over here and if I right click on the eraser tool I have something called magic eraser. Take magic eraser and uh, click on it and make sure you select your background layer. Right now the text layer has been selected, that's why I'm unable to uh, apply it here. Make sure you click on the background and then just come and click over here. At once you see the white color disappears from here. Okay, so now your logo has become a transparent logo. These dots will not be visible on your image. It just uh, shows that this is a transparent image. So then how am I supposed to save it? Let me check the paper. Paper says save the logo as CBL. So let me come over here, file save as. Let's come out of my folder. Let's keep it into the 2018 folder, CBL. Uh, you can have a Photoshop file if you like and you can also have a JPEG file. Always make sure you have a JPEG file so that you can uh, use it in various other documents. Okay, so this is the JPEG file save and say ok. So if you come back to your folder you would see you have a Photoshop file and you also have a JPEG file. Okay. So the JPEG file is a file that we'll be using to copy and paste into various other documents when the question paper 
as us to do so. So now save the logo, paste a copy of CBL into task uh, AG1. So very simple, right click over here, copy the JPEG image, copy, come into Microsoft Word, keep your cursor here and right click and say paste. So you have your logo pasted over there. And then the question paper goes on to say, uh, resave task AG1. So I come back over here, control S, come back over here. Uh, do not print at this stage. In document task AG1, identify three features that make a logo fit for purpose. Okay, so if you read this question very carefully, they are not asking you about your logo. They are asking any logo that make a logo fit for purpose. So let me just bring the cursor down, press enter and bring it down. Question B. So the first thing a logo should have is, you can say the logo should always be a clip art picture. Should always be a clip art, not a photo graph something else the logo should uh, represent something else that the logo should represent is the fact that uh, the logo should always represent an activity of the organization okay and number three the name of the organization should be clearly visible in the logo okay so these are three features that i believe every logo should be following okay so here it goes on to say that makes a logo three features that make a logo fit for purpose so these are three features that i believe make a logo fit for purpose so then the question goes on to say make sure the task ag1 is still on one side of a4 yes it is still on one a4 paper and then it goes on to say uh, print uh, resave task ag1 print task ag1 on one side of a4 so once you, have, once you print this document, you're done with task AG1.